there, thank you so much for joining me on this channel. For this video, I thought we'd look at Hinduism and the festival of Pitru Paksha. The word Pitru means ancestors and Paksha means a fortnight in a lunar month. So you are literally remembering your ancestors over a two week period according to the cycle of the moon. Now, according to Dharma, which is duty, Hindus believe that a person has a social and religious responsibility to think about those who have died. And this festival gives one an opportunity to do that. The origins of the festival can be located in the Mahabharata, the huge Hindu epic holy book. It contains devotional material and philosophical writings. The legend goes something like this. King Karna was killed in a battle. Upon his death, his Atman, his soul, ascended into the afterlife. And rather confusingly for him, rather than being served food, he was served gold. King Karna sought help from Lord Indra. He's the king of the gods and lord of the sky. He had also, as was pointed out to him by Indra, never actually offered any food to the souls of his ancestors. Indra kindly agreed to allow King Karna to return to Earth so he could prepare and cook food, not just for the poor, but also for his ancestors. And this period of time was for about 15 days. Hence, we get the festival Pitru Paksha. One way of thinking about the festival of Pitru Paksha is, if you like, a satnav for the afterlife. Uh, the living can help the dead and in their rituals and their offerings help guide them uh, to an eternal peace. And I think that's what's really interesting, isn't it? The fact that even though someone has died and passed on, you can still help and guide them according to Hindu tradition. A very, very powerful link with your forebears. During Pitru Paksha, Shraddha is performed and Shraddha is essentially means truth and to direct one's mind. You are focusing your energies and your rituals on those who have passed on. So as well as offerings such as rice and flower balls, I didn't know this, but sesame seeds are also offered. Sesame seeds are believed to have the power to absorb negative energies. Again, it's fascinating, isn't it? How the significance and the importance of food when it comes to rituals. And during this time, it's not just about focusing on your ancestors, but also the here and now and making sure that those around you are given help. Think about King Karna. One of the reasons why he was allowed to return to Earth was to make sure that the poor were given help from him. And that's interesting too, isn't it? A king is still required to look after his ancestors and to look after the poor around him. It's also a time to not do things, which sounds somewhat strange, but things such as getting married, naming your child, buying a house, etc. It's best to focus on the afterlife and those around you. So it's a time really where you are thinking wholly of others. It was also interesting how animals and creatures play a part in Pitru Paksha as well. If some of your offerings are eaten by a crow, then that's a good thing. The reason being is that it's a symbol of the god Yama, the god of death. And it's showing that your offerings are getting to your ancestors. I do hope there was of some interest and hopefully by next video, my voice won't be so crackly and creaky. And if you are able to, please do like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your learning.